Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. Eating my cough drop. Um, we are on a road trip. Actually, I'm coming home from work and I'm sitting in traffic. So uh, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that my elderly neighbor downstairs, uh, last I heard, was in the hospital. So I um, texted my landlord a few days ago or so uh, and um, I found out that she was in a rehabilitation uh, center and I asked what happened to her and she said that uh, she's very confused. Um, she has a hard time remembering. Uh, she can't walk without a walker. And uh, sometimes she talks and she makes no sense. And that she was asking for how how her husband was doing if if the landlord had heard from her husband and her husband's been dead for about 24 years so yeah I I was really you know saddened to hear that she's not doing well so uh the landlord told me I said can I visit her and she said yeah she told me where she was and uh, it's I think it's in the land of no parking so we'll see and then uh when I talked to her today the landlord I said well when is she coming back home and uh, she said she's not she's not coming back home because I thought um, you know because all of a sudden now she has dementia out of nowhere um, you know I don't know how that happens I thought dementia is something that happens over time um, but she lived independently you know without an aid without any companionship there in her apartment so I don't know how all of a sudden she has dementia but um, I thought she was going to come back home and she was going to have an aide or something and she was going to be okay. But um, the landlord says, no, she's going to be there permanently. So uh, I was like, well, what's going to happen to the apartment and uh, all her stuff and everything? And she's like, well, her and a family member, the landlord and a family member, in a couple of weeks are going to clean out the apartment. And I don't know what they're going to do with it. I hope to God they don't sell the house. Um, I guess they could rent the apartment. It's a really big apartment. She's lived there since the 80s. So now she's in her 80s. Um, I think she's 85 or something like that. So uh, I'm, I'm on my way to go visit her. I told the landlord a few times, I was like, you know, I'm really going to miss her. If there's anything I can do, let me know. I consider you guys my friends. And um, I'm really going to be sad that she's not there. So I don't know what they're doing in the nursing home, well, nursing home rehabilitation center about her smoking habit. Uh, I don't know if they take her outside to smoke or if they don't let her smoke because she's smoked for, what, 40 years or something. And, you know, she loves her caramel m and but I don't know what to expect when I go there. Um, the landlord said that they're going to make me take a rapid COVID test, which is not a problem. Um, I have a mask I can wear. I don't know if she's going to remember me or recognize me, you know, but um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I wish she was um, so when, in a nursing home, well, in a rehab that was closer to uh, my apartment um, and one with parking. When my mom uh, had her um, falls, you know, she's fallen a few times and had to go to the hospital and then after recover in a rehab to get her balance back, she always went to the same rehab and it was near, near where we lived and it was a really nice, really, really nice rehab. Um, and she really liked it there. So, you know, of course she, she wanted to come home, but you know, if she had to be in a rehab, she liked that one. So she always went to that one. Um, I, uh, except for a really, 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 really super long time ago when she was sick and they put her in a rehab, I think in the Bronx or something with people who were mentally ill as well as physically ill and her, her um, next patient over was stealing her food. Um, yeah, so I hope this rehab is nice. Um, I'm sure they put her in a nice rehab, you know, um, but we'll, we'll find out. I'm more curious how she's doing and um, 
and just you know to see um, see what's going on I you know I really miss you know when I'm in my bedroom and I don't hear Wheel of Fortune or Family Feud coming through the wall and I and you know I know that she's not there and you know she's a she's a quiet person but you know I always knew that she was there so it's so sad that she's not there anymore and now she won't be there and I'm glad that she's alive I'm glad that she's alive thank God um, you know at least I can go and visit her but sad that she's not coming home you know it, it's it's really weird how some people you can know for not a long time and yet they touch your life uh, in a special way and I think she really did that she touched my life in a special way and um, and so therefore I feel compelled to um, to visit her and maintain my friendship with her I wonder if she'll let me take a picture with her uh, like a selfie or something so I can put it in my living room and remember her when I'm not visiting so we'll see we'll see how that goes but anyway I'm on my way there okay well I'm here and uh, they have a parking lot which is convenient and there's plenty of parking so I guess nobody's visiting today um, it's this area is actually right near the beach it's near like a harbor with like boats and stuff so it's not a neighborhood that I ever come to um, I don't know anybody out here. So, yeah, it seems like a nice enough place. The houses are around here are really nice. It's got, there's a harbor. It seems okay on the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I don't think I'm going to be able to film in there, but let's, let's see what happens. So there's a, there's a couple of different entrance choices. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to have to figure it out. So I'm... I think I'm finding the entrance. Look, it's right overlooking the water. I would, I normally, I would say, if I knew where the entrance was, I wouldn't have parked so far away. But uh, might as well get my steps in while I'm here, right? Look how pretty it is. It's nice to come and sit by the ocean. That's nice. Yeah. Let's see if we can find uh, where the hell I'm going. Okay. Well of my badge here I want to show that on camera <laughs> so I went in there and uh, I found the entrance why can't I take this badge off uh, I I went in there and uh, you can't even tell who the hell I am well anyway um, so I went I went in there my boobs itch oh uh, I went and uh, they asked me for my ID which I gave them and uh, who I was visiting and stuff and then they uh they took my picture and they gave me one of those little sticker visitor id things and a mask because i forgot my mask in the car so uh they gave me an n95 mask and every time i put the mask well i had to keep the mask on uh, my glasses you know because i told you my glasses keep falling down anyway the mask was making my glasses fall down more but anyway uh i need a cough drop anyway i'm not even coughing it's just like i uh, i got used to the taste of cough drops uh, I don't know where they are. Anyway, so they took my picture. They gave me the badge that I had to fill out a form. Uh, then they uh, they did the rapid COVID test, and I am negative for COVID. And they said that that's good for three days. So if I come back within the next three days, which I don't think I'll be back within the next three days, I I'm sure I'll come and visit her again. But I don't know if it's going to be in the next three days. So. The test was negative and um, I went uh, to try to find her room and I found the room but she wasn't in it you know there are two people per room I guess and uh, you know like a, an A and a B uh, and um, she wasn't in there and then I realized I had walked right past her she was in like the common common area which is nice because like um there's beautiful views you know, she said she was on an upper floor uh, before they moved her to a lower floor and she didn't have such nice views and now she's on a lower floor. So she has these pretty ocean views and stuff. So that was nice. Um, she did remember who I was. She recognized me. She remembered me. Uh, she wanted to know, you know, how I found out where she was and what, you know, so I told her 
and she said she was so happy to see me and it was such a pleasant surprise but so unexpected and uh she was talking to me i i asked her you know what happened to her and you know she doesn't remember she doesn't remember um she said she doesn't remember how she got to the hospital or why she was in the hospital um she said she felt like um the last thing she remembers is she felt like she was having a stroke um she doesn't remember anything after that so she looks the same you know sometimes when people have strokes they get paralysis in their face and stuff uh thank god she didn't have that and um yeah so she uh she definitely remembered me and uh she, i stayed there for a while and i was actually wondering you know i was saying well she she asked, she didn't ask me to leave but after i was there for about a half hour 40 minutes she was like oh i have to get back to my room because i have to set up my stuff for bed or whatever she i don't know what she does anyway so that was my cue to leave um she uh she did start to tell stories that didn't make any sense not that she was saying things that were nonsensical but she was saying things she was saying things that uh couldn't be true you know like things that couldn't possibly be true so there was that and um she didn't ask me about her husband or anything so yeah and then while we were sitting there this you know because there was a common area so there are other older people because it's a rehab place for i don't know if it's entirely for older people but i only saw older people this guy everybody was in a wheelchair pretty much and this guy wheels himself over to us and he starts speaking to us in russian and i don't speak russian and she doesn't speak russian and we told him that but he kept talking to us in russian anyway and then the, we told the nurse, I'm like, um, I don't think he understands us because we told him we don't speak Russian. And he's like, um, and she said, yeah, well, he does that. And then he, he, you know, she called, she, she said his name. And then she said, go, go sit by the window, you know. <clears throat> it's a very sad situation, you know, it's a very sad situation. And, uh. When I was sitting there waiting for the results of the COVID test with the nurse, I guess, before I went up there, I told her, I said, you know, I, I, I don't know. I didn't know this woman very for very long, only about three years. But um, I felt, you know, I don't know why I felt compelled to come today, but I did. And she said, God brings people into our lives for a reason, which was what wasn't that what I was just saying before? And um yeah, I guess that's really true. So I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I was going to say, you know, I I it's so scary because my mom is 76. She has a lot of issues, you know, she's got some medical problems and everything. Thank God, knock on steering wheel, she doesn't have dementia. Um, but uh, it's it's sad, this, this woman is 11 years older than my mom. So, I mean, I, not that really age has anything to do with it. But um, it's, uh, it's a sad thing. But I'm glad she's alive. I'm glad that she's alive and she's she ha she's in a what seems to be a, a nice place and she has nice views and stuff. And I asked her if I could bring her anything. No, she did not ask me to bring her cigarettes and I didn't bring it up because I don't I don't know if she remembers that she smoked. And I don't want to bring it up because she had a tube in her nose. She was sitting in the common area in a wheelchair. She can walk. She walks with a walker, so I heard. But, um, yeah, I didn't bring up the cigarette thing because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to bring up that memory. And then she'd be like, oh, she remember, you know, I remind her that she used, she smoked. So, no, she didn't ask me for cigarettes. She was concerned about um, her hair. Her hair looked fine. It looked a little longer than it usually is, but uh, 
you know, she had a little bit of like bed head, just a tiny bit, you know, but she looked okay. Um, and so I said, can I bring you anything? Uh, if I said, would you, would you mind if I visit you again? And she's like, no, you can visit me. Uh, I don't mind. And then I said, would you like me to bring you anything? And I said, would you like a plant or maybe some flowers? Um, or maybe some uh, puzzles like a uh, crossword puzzles or something to read, you know, and she's, she wanted me to bring her rollers for her hair but her hair is not even long enough to put in rollers. And I don't think they're gonna let her put rollers in her hair. And why would she even need to? She's in a rehabilitation center. I guess she, if they were very small rollers, like medium rollers, cause her hair, you know, she's got pretty short hair. Um, I'm not gonna bring her rollers. And chances are when I visit her again, she's not gonna remember. So maybe I'll bring her a plant or something. Uh, I don't know what I'm allowed to bring her. So I'm definitely not bringing her cigarettes and caramel M&Ms. Uh, but um, yeah, well, I'm gonna go head home and spend some time with my mom. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications of all my videos. And until next time, bye everyone out there in YouTube land.